up guys, Red Mash here and welcome back to the video today. We do have a special guest helping us, Monger, say hello to the fans. What's up guys, how's it going? And today, we're going to be checking out this event. Now, just as we were explaining on Monger's channel uh, just a few seconds ago, this just dropped on us out of nowhere uh, while we were doing a little collaboration and we thought that it was a good idea to maybe share this special moment with you guys as we take a look into Vicious Sunflower. So, I mean, what have we got here? It, it looks like it's gonna support monsters, obviously, but, how, I mean, let's let's go over its stats. Monger, would you like to go ahead and read some of its stats for us? Yeah, sure. Um, there's a, it's a three and three in one movement. It has dramatic entrance, and it's only three goals, so I don't know how this is gonna work out on the field. Obviously, the last will, so you want this to die in order to gain a monster. Um, I'm not sure how useful this is going to be for monster decks, honestly. Um, it depends if it only drops um, commons or if it also can give you like rares, epics, or legendaries. That is true. Uh, we have to consider that, again, Ajira is not a monster, so she will not be dropping from this. Um, we haven't done anything with this card yet, so again, I don't think we can confirm if this if the drops are commons only or anything like that, but this is huge. Um, not only does this card have supporting power from monsters, but if you take a look into it further, it can support Last Will as well. Um, oh, also, yeah. just, right. just a few short moments ago as well as Vicious Sunflower dropping, Andrew the Giant was just switched to the neutral faction, so, you know... I'm formulating an idea right now that we're going to be seeing a lot more um, Crusader Warlock Last Will decks. And with that, a great inclusion here would be Vicious Sunflower. Not only can you gain a monster, what if that monster happens to be Manfish? That's yet another Last Will for you to add. So a lot of uh, variation with this card. And um, of course, we are both broke... Um, when it comes to uh, Sunflower, right, Monger? We're both very poor. Yeah, definitely. So, we're gonna go hunt for Sunflower, and to do that, we're gonna take you into some pack openings with us. But, you know, just again, to wrap it up uh, for the discussion, I think Vicious Sunflower is going to be um, somewhat interesting in terms of maybe introducing Last Will into, like, a more competitive nature. Uh, any final thoughts from you, Monger? Um, you know, I, uh, I have a monster deck for ranked play. That's what got me to 3,000. Um, and looking at this card, I feel like that could definitely help. But at the same time, um, if, if drawn in the wrong place, um, th this, this could definitely make you lose games. Because if you're looking for a monster card and you can't kill this Sunflower immediately, then you're basically screwed. Um, same thing with like a uh, like Nalakir Ajira. So I, I feel like this is gonna work a lot like Nalakir. Um, uh, yeah, because again, this card is decreasing cost like Nalakir. Yeah. Nalakir. So. so, um, so I I have a uh, twelve packs ready to open. Meanwhile, over on my end, I have about twenty five. So we're gonna do this in a little special way. Um, I think I'm gonna go first, right? Yeah, and the yeah. deal is we're going to be opening, uh, for every two that I open, Monger will open one. We'll both read out the contents of each of our packs. So, um, you know, the respective channels, viewers, if you know, you watch maybe mine but not his or his but not mine, you'll still know what we each get out of the card packs. I think that sounds good, right? Yeah, I think that sounds great. All right, so hunting for three sunflowers. And let's see what our first pack will entail. An epic, but however it is, Iken. Spencer, the legendary monster tamer. Okay, that's good. Sentry Golem, damn, these drop rates. And of course, Spite Fish to end out the pack. So, two epics, one rare, one common, one legendary for pack number one. Of course, it's a wild pack, so contents will vary between all of the sets. Going for pack number two here, we got White Knight, Master at Arms, Ogre Thief, Sacrificial Altar, and look at that, the Gorilla King. My oh, god. Dang. Two legends right out of the bat. Uh, so we're looking good. Monger, let's head over to yours and see what you pull from your first pack. Okay, so I have uh, 12 Arkham War packs here. Um, so here comes the first one. 
Um, Arctic Explorer is common. We have a common foil, Holy Bulwark. Okay, uh, foil. A uh, common Serpent Witch. Uh, a rare Unstable Construct. Oh, Unstable. <laughs> Uh, and we also have a rare Yarhim Giants, so not n not that good of a pack, honestly, but <laughs> oh well. The foils are always counting as double if you don't like foils, so. It's true, that is true. Alright, back to my channel now. We're going to open two more wilds, of course. Minotaur, Suit of Armor, Dragon Temple, Hall of Winds, and Serpent Witch. Still no flower yet, unfortunately. Uh, and overall, not the best pack. Four commons and one rare. So, already the luck is starting to hurt us after we uh, open one. Zealous Knight now coming out of the pack number two. Mage Apprentice. School of Knowledge. Wonderful. Dragon Crest Shield. And Omega Strike. So, three epics and two commons. Not that bad of a pack. Uh, gonna get a lot of good shards for these regardless. But let's take it over to Monger Shadow for his next pack. Okay, this my next pack is um so we got a nunchuck nun, uh a defiance, which is epic, um, and then we have another unstable construct. Unstable. Um a Salahar Spitefish and a Mystic Weapons. Hmm. So not it, we do have one epic and there's three rares and one common, so it, this this one's a decent pack, but still no sunflower unfortunately. Unfortunately. Alright. Taking it back to my channel now, it looks like, or my packs, whoops. Uh, two more wild packs coming out right now. Fire Drake, Oh, I see something back there. It looks like we have some bonus loot for this pack. Oh, really? With Fire Drake, Vanish, War Party now, Green Drake, a Foiled Onslaught, and bonus loot, the Cathedral Castle Skin. I do have this skin, however, but it's nice to see that you can uh, still get castle skins from it. So, interesting uh, to see. Uh, foil, always good for double value, and of course, the epic War Party as well. That's my favorite epic. War Party is literally the best epic in the whole entire game. Sarcasm detected. Uh, anyway, <laughs> going back to our second wild pack now. Ship of uh, the Damned. A foiled Hidden Fees. Whoa now, you thought War Party was good. Dang. Foiled Hidden Fees. Oh man. Call of the Week, House of Ninja Rats, and Mystic Journey. So... Two rares, uh, one foiled common, uh, as well as two regular commons. So, still on the hunt for flower. Let's take it back to Monger and see if he can find the sunflower. Okay, so here we go. Um, another freaking unstable construct. You, man, you, are are you Not Why only you... is unstable basically an inside joke at this point between <laughs> all of us, me, you, and Kev. Yeah. It, it, th this card just not not fun. Anyways, after the unstable, flashbacks. um, we have a uh, faith everlasting. Okay. Uh, disintegrate. Wait, wait. In the back, I might see a sunflower. In the you back. Might. Hold on. All right, you'll see. Um, we, we have a shadow dance, and the last one, S vicious sunflower. <laughs> Our first vicious sunflower has been pulled over on Monger's channel. Uh, mm. Let's see if we can now. Pull a sunflower. We're going back to the wild packs now. Two wild packs coming at you. Again, it is going to be harder to get a uh, vicious sunflower from the wild pack since they are from all the sets. But oh, hey! Speaking of that, from White Knight we go to our first vicious sunflower. Oh nice man, stuff. nice. So we both have one. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna have a scoreboard anywhere. I don't know. Uh, Banshee coming out. An epic dragon fire and sacrificial altar. So that's two epics. One of which being the Vicious Sunflower. So, not that bad for a pack, if I do say so myself. And, of course, opening our second wild pack. Hoping to get maybe a second Vicious Sunflower. Uh, doesn't look like it from the pack contest, but we're going to go through it anyway. Uh, Fuhrer of Battle. Shattering Strike. A Foiled Church. Flame. And Temple of the Five Gods. So, uh, not that big of a pack. The only things to note here are the Foiled Church and maybe the Temple of Five Gods. But that's it. Let's take it back to uh, Monger for his next pack. Uh, here we go. Let's, um... Banshee. Uh, not that good. Frozen Beast. Okay. Serpent Witch. Mystic Journey. And Cannonball Barrage. Oh, yes. Cannonball. Oh, yeah. Just what I wanted. Just... <laughs> All right. 
Taking it back now. Uh, let's see. Two more wild packs to go. Or two more to open, I should say. We still have about eight or seven after this pack to go. Uh, Deflecting Shield, Garden Knight, Mystic Journey, Courthouse, and Masuda. So, not that good of a pack. Only the two rares to note from this. Journey and Courthouse. Uh, going into wild pack number two. Courthouse. Ooh. All right. It looks like we got another bonus loot in the back there. But Courthouse... Oh, hey, look at that. Flux Dabes. Dobbs. Flux. I'm, I'm gonna call it Flux. But it looks Flux. like we've pulled our third legendary out of this pack opening. Nice. Grave Stalker coming out now. Omega Strike. Special Delivery. And the Windmill Hut as our bonus castle loot. So, not that bad of a pack. We did get the Flux, and we did get the Windmill Hut as a little commemorative there. And three rares, and the Omega Strike. But taking it back to Monger now for his next pack. So, for my next pack, let's see here. Oh, a Foil Faith Everlasting. Um, a Gift of the Shepherd. A Nunchuck Nun. Another Foil Faith of Everlasting. Ooh, and foil. why are you like this? Freaking unstable <laughs> constructs. No one, no one likes you, okay? Hey, hey, hey now. I like the unstable constructs. I mean, yeah. hey, now you're on the verge of, like, what was that, your fourth? Yeah, yeah, that's my fourth. Four more and you tie with Kev. <laughs> the most unstables pulled out of a pack opening. But anyway, let's take it back. We got two more wild packs to open. Sacrificial Altar. Shadow Dance. Aijutsu. Uh, I always get confused. I never knew that it was an I for like the longest time. I always thought it was an L, so I call it Laijutsu, but apparently it was Aijutsu. I was corrected on that. Fire Drake. And Blessing of the Trent. So, not that great of a pack. Three rares, two commons. But that's quite all right. Going Wait, into our second one. Um, I have a question. Um, yeah. It's pronounced Trents. Oh. <laughs> Treant. Treant. Uh, anyway. Say... Okay. But anyway, now, going into our second pack here, we've got a Foiled Plea of the Righteous, a Sushi Shack. Sushi Shack. My God. Drake shouldn't da Oh, Oh, Drake shouldn't dance. Nice job. That's the most OP card in the game. Oh, yeah. Hassan City Colossus, which Monger is a huge fan of, <laughs> and There's Serpent Witch. So, still no Sunflower. We do have one, however, so that's still great to see. Uh, taking it back now to Monger. Let's see what he can pull. Um, okay, clicking on the next one. Let's see here. Oh, a Monster Tamer. We got a Monster Tamer. Um, uh, ignition. Nunchuck Nun. Faith Everlasting, and a Flamestorm. Well, at least I got a Legendary out of this. Monster so Tamer. Great, great Legend to pull. Especially in this new era of what seemingly, apparently, is monsters running all over the top 100 at the moment. Oh, so. Yeah. Anyway, our next wild pack, we've got a Psychic Vampire. Lore Master Tarius. That's probably, what, the fourth Legend in this pack opening? Fourth or fifth? I think it's the fourth. I think it's fourth. And our second Vicious Sunflower to go with that. Dang. So we are up to two Vicious Sunflowers, one more, and we will complete the set. We also have one Bear Hog and one Dragon's Lore. So not a bad pack at all. Moving into our second pack here. We got a Dragon's Crest Shield. A Foiled Stone Drake. School of Magic. Arctic Explorer. And Vanishing Strike. All right. So, we've got our second Vicious Sunflower out of those next two. We'll take it back to Monger to see if he has the similar luck. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's hopefully. see here. So, we got um, a Gift of the Shepherd, Salahar Spite Fish, an Arcanon Magic Eater, hmm. um, Faith Everlasting, and a Foil Coal of the Week. Hmm. So, that's, eh, that's okay. But Still on the hunt for the Sunflower. Yeah. yeah I We believe in you, uh, Monger, and hopefully you will get that sunflower. Anyway, moving into our final two wild packs, we're moving on to our Arcanon War packs. One more, and we will complete the set. However, right now we're going to pull a Salahar Voyager, Pacifism, Troll Gunner, and our third, Vicious Sunflower. How do you have three already? I, I don't know. That is, that is so good. I, I don't know. And, to go with that, a Foiled Search for the Truth. Oh, wow. So, a Foiled Epic going into there. Alright, so that's three Vicious Sunflowers pulled successfully 
Uh, we're going to take it over to Monger for his remaining packs. I'm going to hold the rest of mine. I know that it might seem cheap. It might seem like I'm cheating you all of packs. But don't worry. They will be opened by the next event. But for now, we do have three uh, event cards. Or three of the vicious sunflowers. Noah. Uh, not Noah. Oh, dear. Monger. Let's see what you can pull out of your remaining pack, and I'll hover over the Vicious Sunflower, so it looks like we're still on that discussion. Okay, so, um, let's see here. Then we have a Nunchuck Nun, a Mystic Weapons, wait, okay, the next card might be a Vicious Sunflower. I see a neutral, and it looks like it's three. Alright. Uh, dang it, it was a Banshee. Alright, Banshee. Um, and then a Mystic Journey and a Disintegrate. So, okay. not... Not, not too good. Uh, moving on to the next one. We have a Disintegrate, a Frozen Beast, a Salahar, a Spitefish, and a Flamestorm, and another Mystic Journey. Oof. Yeah, not, not, not looking too good right now. I only have three more packs open. Agreed. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have an Iken Hisatsu. How do you I, pronounce that? I, I pronounce it Iken. Just leave it at Iken. Iken, Iken. So we have an Iken. Um, another Mystic Journey. An Arcanon General, a Yarum Giant, and Vicious Sunflower, second one. Second Vicious Sunflower for Monger, folks. One more out of his remaining two packs, and he just dabbed twice on my video <laughs> feed. Oh, dear. Moving in to his final two, I believe, right now? Yeah, final two. All right, final two, and then we're going to close out the video by just our opinions on maybe how we think this might change up the game as we know it. But anyway, let's not get into that. Let's, uh... Open your two packs. Okay, so second to last pack, we have a ignition, and looks like there is bonus loot at the end of this one. Bonus loot. Um, we have a mystic journey, frozen beast, vicious sunflower, third one. Yeah. And it looks like the third vicious sunflower has been achieved. The boyhood dream has come true. And uh, we also have um a foil serpent witch. And the bonus loot is the airship castle. So that, nice. that, that's, uh, that's pretty good. All right, so it looks like both of us have found our three vicious sunflowers. Um, let's, I'm going to go back to the card, you know, just so I can see it. You know, it's like, it's, yeah. the, it's like the one new card that I get to see. You know, my one notification for new cards. I'm going <laughs> to hover over it right now. And, I mean, what are your final thoughts to close the video? I think we're going to, like, finish up by discussing maybe... How we think people will start using this, if people will start using this. Um, but Monger, let's take it to you for uh, the first thought. Like, you know, what is your maybe final overall opinion of the vicious sunflower? Well, definitely, we are going to see a great influx of the use of vicious sunflower in the beginning, like we do with all event cards. Well, maybe well, not all event cards, because I, I have to. Unfortunately, cards like uh, Serpent Witch weren't used right away. Um, right. What was it, Merciless Santa? Was it, I mean, it was used, but not, like, a whole lot. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Um, so, yeah. But I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, new event cards always prompt new decks, so. Yes. Um, will this stick around in monster decks? I'm not completely sure. No, I am not. I mean, monster decks? No. Last will decks... Can yeah. we be seeing an influx of those? Possibly. Uh, Last Will has been... I think this is what they were trying to push in Arcanon War, uh, the use of Last Will. But no one really seemed to latch on to the idea. No one seemed to be all too fond of it. Um, but I think now with moving Andrew to the neutral and this new card, we could be seeing an influx of those. Granted, they will unfortunately be... Uh, subject to Warlock Crusader, obviously, but uh, still, it's Last Will Dex. It'll be something new. Uh, but, yeah, do you have any thoughts on the Last Will Dex that might be coming uh, up? Especially with uh, the change of Andrew the Giant to neutral, along with this neutral card, Vicious Sunflower, um, people will definitely start using Last Will Dex. Um, for the top 100, uh, I think people will start playing around with Last Will, uh, next, next, uh... Season. Yeah, next ranking season. Which is only in about a day or two. Yeah, exactly. 
So um, e even in the top 100, I think we'll definitely start using Last Will. Um, I, I will definitely mess around with Last Will decks. Yeah, um, I might bring you guys a little hidden combos with Sunflower. And I mean, granted, I've already have a Last Will deck on the channel, but that was probably pre-neutral move. Yeah. So, definitely worth experimenting, I think. Yeah, a Cargrom Last Will would definitely be a very good combination, I think. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, Cargrom Last Will? Yeah, yeah Car well, anyway, we're not going to get too much into spoilers for you guys, since we are going to maybe plan some of these decks, maybe discuss it. But anyway, uh, that was the video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like, share with your friends, and comment down below what you think of the Vicious Sunflower now appearing in Cards and Castles. And um, also, if you are interested, be sure to check out uh, Monger's channel. I think you might be over here. So, uh, of course, like you said in the beginning of this video, we were in the middle of a another collaboration effort. So be sure to check out his content for that in the near future. But anyway, that's all from me, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, yeah. Until the next video, stay gaming. You have anything to say? Uh, no. no. No, 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 no. Just like the last video, no, you don't. All right. <laughs> Stay gaming.